Hello guys, once again, welcome back to the 2015 Call of Duty World Championships presented to you by Xbox. I'm here with Chance. We haven't cast it together yet, but I feel as if we bring some heat. This is going to be a good game. And it's a, a strange situation to be in when you see guys like this in the loser. Optic Nation taking on Envy. The loser goes home. Simple as that. Yeah, it goes home and doesn't even take home any money. Like, the loser doesn't even place top eight. So these are teams you expect to obviously be, you know, top four like near, yeah like potentially and then top eight for sure so someone's going home without money uh i had the pleasure Crazy. of casting optic nation when they ended up getting beat in game five by automatic reload and i believe you said you actually casted envy when they got knocked in yes. as well yeah uh, envy against aware and uh, aware looked hot real hot i and just the first map envy looked really comfortable and it was it was that ah uh, you know it looks like the you boys are going to drop down but then aware just turned up another gear and looked phenomenal Envy, a little bit sloppy on the s and I feel. Uh, maybe that's something I'm going to have to work on because I feel as if Optic Nation are a good s and team. I'm going to go straight on predictions, uh, but only from what I've seen before. I think Optic Nation will take this. If you said Envy's s and game is still weak, which I don't know if you've kept up with the uh, Pro League or not, but they've been doing absolutely horrible in it. They're like 1-11 since the start of Season 2. I'm going to expect you to go to Game 5, and just based on that, I think Optic Nation might barely be able to pull away just because I think they have the advantage in the S&D game, but that means Envy is going to have to come out absolutely hot in the respawns, and I believe Zoom and Saints, uh, before the start of the day, were both in the top five category for kill-death ratios. So those two guys have been playing out of their oh, minds, yeah. absolutely, but obviously today is a different story getting beat yeah. by aware. I mean, Zoomer and Saints were really, really good. Nameless was firing in the first map as well for Envy, and if he can go off, then it's a problem for any, any team. Yeah. But saying that, their confidence has got to be shot down here. But they've done it before. You know, these losers bracket runs can happen. Uh, it's just getting a couple of wins behind you, and suddenly you are flying through that. But let's see. We're going to go in the game. It's going to be half point on Solar for the first map. Yep, and I do believe that it was Envy last year that went into the loser's bracket almost immediately or very, very soon and then just went on an absolutely massive run and ended up finishing in second place. So Envy going to be looking to do something similar like that this year. We're going to be kicking it on board with Optic Nation, though, going on board. Miracle, see if he can get in this hard point. Yeah, well, push it on the left-hand side, just trying to get some control over this side, and he gets wiped out straight away. Nameless in there with a two-piece instantly. And what I like about this hardpoint, apart from Nameless getting three kills straight off the bat, it is literally a scrappy hardpoint. You literally throw your bodies in there, try and get a spawn in the last 15 seconds or so, and then move on from there. But the kill feed currently dominated by Envious, who are in the lead. Yeah, you're right. The only way to avoid it being such a scrappy hill is you're really going to have to absolutely dominate in the slaying category. Holding down those power positions is what you saw. Saints right there trying to do it, but he is going to get taken down. Oh, wow. Kill is actually going to get a team kill by stomping on one of his teammates. Merc picking up a two-piece, though. So right now we're going to have a 14-5 to lead. Make that 15-5 to is getting a little bit of point in favor of Envy. Well, very nice play by Optic Nation to bring that one back because Envy has started pretty hot. One minute gone. And it is just an ever so slight lead to MBS. The spawn is in the favor of Optic Nation, though they get on the right side. And they have the top spawn. Zoom a nice shot there. Shut down killer, but Envious in control. Yeah, exactly. Now we're going to be on board with Miracles trying to hold stuff down with his battle. He's going to pick up a nice two-piece there on Merc and Saints. He's going to be continuing to work it as now Optic Nation has started to mount a little bit of a comeback. Going to be jumping on board with Kill, sticking with his Optic Nation trend for this hill. In the back with the ASM, when you're expecting him to push up into the hill, which he does, and he's going to connect. Shots are going to come down on him. Oh, wow. Able to pick up some two-piece right before he gets dropped. I'm going to stay, can we stay on board with Comic 6 and 4 at the moment? Not too bad, but when he has that ball in his hands, the guy is an absolute joke. Some of the kills he can pull off. This guy is so accurate. Let's see what he can do from here. Good shot there straight on the Merc, and he's going to try and hold down up top here. 20 seconds remaining on this hard point. Envious are not really anywhere near at the moment. Karma has some work to do here. Picks up one after that previous one. I think he's probably going to shun the battle. It's a great work by Karma. His movement is sublime from Karma. Fantastic way he did hold that down. And it is Optic Nation with a slight lead. Envious catching up very, very quickly. And it is certainly worth mentioning that right now, Optic Nation has those favorable spawns for the next side. They are going to be over there set up, and you see Miracles right now trying to cover this dirt and he's going to run into quite a few players from the enemy team going to come in right now. Zuma is going to have a gunfight with him but Miracles has the advantageous thing because he does have a battle and Zuma normally going to be your SMG player so Miracles able to pick up that kill right there. Zuma coming on the chase and then Miracles able to clean him up now on a three kill streak. Yeah very nice for Miracles. His movement is something I really really like whenever I watch him. Currently as said on a three streak just trying to hold things down. The rest of his team are in tow but that is actually going to be killer and Saints actually sorry going in there. Saints picks up a three piece albeit one of them his teammate but there you go really cleaning things out there good work by envious 
Yeah, three kill streak is always something to be proud of. And now there's four, starting out at 12 and 7 again. Him and Zuma just doing so fantastic this weekend in the slang category. And that's really shining for Saints right here. But Zuma's going to need to pick it up just a little bit. Merc also doing pretty well. Jeff, you know, of course, Nurk, known for his objective work. And right now, not the greatest KD, almost breaking even, but seven captures. And he's milking all this time right now to give them about a 20 point lead going into this next hill. Yeah, but look, though, Optic Nation are the ones set up. Yeah, definitely in there, and you know what, Envious has done the right thing here, they've stacked down this right hand side, if they can get a kill down there, they just have to push in together, this one does not work if you go in one by one, that's why they're stacking up, that's why they're not running in, and the engage now going to come as a couple of them start jumping in, but Optic Nation are getting the kills they need to, and that is all we are seeing on the kill feed right now, that is Optic Nation, who are currently not in the lead, <laughs> they're around 10 points behind Envious. Yeah, but they are going to be able to get quite a bit of time on this as another three ga go down for Envy. But as soon as I say that, Carmen TV get dropped by Saints and Zuma respectively. So we're going to have a bit of a scrappy time. And Nameless has actually brought out the Ameli. And a lot of the Ameli that we've been seeing this weekend has been without the thermal. That's something I had never seen until Cod Champs got arrived. But that's the third different player so far that I've seen just rock this standard Ameli. The best player I've seen with it so far is definitely Killer. I mean, he's been doing work with that. But Nameless also doing pretty well down that right-hand side. Does get taken out by TP, but that was a good, good half point by Optic Nation. They got a lot of points on the board with that one. It's going to be ambitious. We're going to clean up the final few, but the ones first to the next half point is Optic Nation. Yep, and they're going to be able to increase their lead as it's been relatively back and forth match. Very competitive, very close within 13 points of each other, trading back and forth. And now Envy is the team that has been able to take control. And you see Saints doing everything he can. Five captures to his name as well. He's going to be kind of, oh, he's also been <laughs> able oh, wow. to rock the family. I think he might have been able to pick that off and nameless his dead body. And again, it's just those iron sights, which are so difficult to use. And it looks like a player is going to come right next to him. He's going to be able hell. to turn on TB and absolutely destroy him. Very, very nice player by Saints there, holding that left side down for such a long time. Let's have a look at the scoreboard top right corner and Miracles 12 and 14, not great from him. Needs to step it up, but his team are still in the lead as the rest of the guys are doing pretty well. 21 and 15 from Killer at the moment. Yeah, so again, we've got about 15 seconds left on this hill after the first set of rotations is going to be complete. Optic Nation is definitely going to have the edge, but it is not that substantial of a lead. Envy's really just going to need to focus on the rotations. You saw that top hard point that they just allowed way too much time after Optic Nation got set up, and that's really where Nation was able to make their comeback. Well, I'll load Zuma now as we do move back to the central half point and it is going to be Optic Nation with the lead at the halfway point. TP just setting up shop here, 18 and 19 from him. Such a, a, a legendary player is TP. He's been around for a long time and he just does work. The objective players from him and the sling ability is there as well. Very, very strong player. Yeah, and I'm not sure if you agree with me on this or how many people will at all, actually, but I would say this might be TP's best Call of Duty. He hasn't had the best placings, and obviously when he was with Call, he did nothing but good placings, but TP to me really shines out because, again, as you just said early, he's been really able to pick up the slang as well as still doing all the objective work that we know and love him for. I think it's just been an adaptation of the game. I think, uh, you know, more kills need to go down in this game than any other, just with how fast-paced it is. You can't just be a standard objective player. I mean, all, albeit he's not a standard objective player. He's one of the best objective players that this, this scene has ever seen, basically. But, yeah, I, I, I agree with you. I think um, he does a good job in this game, definitely. Yeah, and Karma goes down as well as he was trying to work in Pipe Room. So Envy trying to mount somewhat of a comeback there, down by about 40 points. Going in his side right now, we're going to be on board with Killa. Trying to break into this with the ASM1, that player right there is in the corner. It's going to be Merc. Jumps up, but Killa able to complete that kill. Again, Envy had control, but Optic Nation able to break it, and now they're even pushing out their spawns. That's what you like to see. When you're comfortable with the match, you're going to be pushing into the enemy spawn to prevent them from being able to contest the hill. Killer's just sitting on these two guys here. Yeah, he's just going to have a look up, a good jump up as well. Is he going to get this kill as well? He does get taken down by Nameless, who's playing quite... Not as much as he was playing well previously. I mean, 25 to 23 is, all, is, is pretty decent still. But against the wear, he looks so strong. His team, though, falling a little bit behind here. Saying that, Miracle's coming down with a two-piece. Nameless and Merc doing good work as well as Optic Nation get pushed out of the hill. Envious getting some points on the board. Yeah, and Nameless got the bloodthirsty medal with the stomp, and now he's made his way over to a seven kill streak. I don't want to miss any big plays like this, so Nameless on hot. We're going to stick on board with him until he dies. Well, let's see what he can do here with the ball. Very, very accurate with that. Such an aggressive player as well, but can do do everything. He, he can be passive, he can be aggressive. He's good with SMGs, he's good with the Rs. He has the whole package. Let's see if he can do anything about it. Get shot in the back. Of course, cast a curse there. But on board with Killer. Let's see what he can do inside the point now. He does have a player behind him from him. He managed to stay alive, though. 
has help from his teammates as well. Miracles is going to do work also, and he's a player I've, I've always enjoyed watching his Miracles, his movement and such. It's absolutely phenomenal, but Killer and Karma both do go down inside that half point, but the lead is still around 40 points or so for Optic Nation. Yeah, really, I think the difference maker this match has been Zuma sitting at only 22 and 31 now as he goes down as well as Merc. Zuma, again, you know, one of the top five KDs so far at this event, but if he's not playing well, Envy is not going to have wow. a good time. That was really nice from Nameless, though. TP coming in there, cleaning things up on him. But if you have a look, captures are pretty even all over. I mean, Zuma isn't really doing much for his team whatsoever. He's, he's getting a couple of um, captures, but realistically, 22 and 31, you would expect him to be doing better than that. But good shots by Saints there towards the back, and he's just trying to hold things down at the moment for his team as some points go back on the board for Envious. And we've got Optic Nation heading down the left. Exactly. Going to stay on board with the Saints right now. He's going to be running into three Optic Nation players soon. Coming from that glass side, but it looks like he's just going to get shot in the side if he doesn't recognize it. But as soon as I say that, he is going to be looking over. Car's on fire, not going to blow up. Miracle's actually going huge and getting a three-piece right there to clear out the kill. It's going to allow Karma to push up. He's going to go down as well, so TP's going to be the next in line. The car just going to blow up at any second now, and all the players for Optic Nation going down. Envy getting the better of that engagement. We're going to have only one hill after this, and Envy making a little bit of comeback, only down by about 35 points. Now 50 15 seconds left on this hill going into the final one. Yeah, they've done well in this hill. They've held it for most of the time that they have been able to if it hasn't been contested. So, Nameless doing work back here, getting a couple of kills to his name, and he really is starting to heat up a little bit now. They can get the rest of the points from this one as we move on to the next. It is Optic Nation there first. Envy are in and there about as well. Yeah, and the difference maker right there was Envy was able to lock down that last hill and get a lot of time, and they were the first one over here, but Opting Nation was able to take out Zoom in Nameless to get control right away, and Nameless is actually now on a seven kill streak, and he's in the hill, so only down by 30 seconds, but there's only 30 seconds left in the match, so all that Opting Nation has to do is contest just for a moment, and they should be able to take this one away, and looks like that's exactly what Miracles is going to do. Yep, and that is going to be the game now. Ghost going over to Opting Nation. Looking very strong so far. Let's have a look at the uh, scoreboards. Though. I mean, realistically, very consistent from every single one of them. Nameless had a very good game. If anything, it might obviously the best score on the whole of the uh, eight players. But the rest of his team letting him down just that little bit. Yeah, Zuma finally getting up there. He had a three-piece in that final hit with two seconds left, but too little too late. That is going to be an Optic Nation round one win in the hard point, which I personally didn't expect. Envy's been looking really strong in the respawns. Again, yeah. that slaying power coming in so clutch, but Zuma with a little bit of a slow start. If he picks it up, it's going to be great for Envy, but Optic Nation, one round to none. Yeah, Optic looking very good. They just I, I feel as if they have a good team across the board. Like I, I mean, they don't necessarily rely on anybody. Everyone on that team can go off when they need to. I just feel as if they're a stronger team here. Yep. Next map that we're going to have is going to be Search and Destroy on Riot again. You know, we've already talked about this a little bit. Optic Nation, yeah. we expect to be slightly the stronger S&D team. However, this squad for Membi is a veteran team. All the players, with the exception of Zuma, have been around for years, especially Merc and Nameless. They've been teammates for over yeah. a year now, so the chemistry is there. Hopefully, they can pull something out in the Search and Destroy and give us a little bit of series here. And we'll get right back to that after this commercial break.